The context menu, which is the small downward triangle next to the discussion thread, has a number of items that you may use. This tutorial will explain each menu item. If you do not understand the structure of, discussion, of the discussion tool in my courses, you should review the tutorial about this subject. Click on Submission Review tab, click on Discussions. This is going to take you into the discussion list page. Go ahead and click on any topic name. And then within the topic, you're going to see one of the threads. Click on the context menu next to the thread. Now I'm going to explain what each one of these items are. Edit thread allows you to edit the thread properties. So if I click on that, you'll see I can change the name and I can edit my thread. Mark all posts as read, exactly what it says. It will mark all the posts in this thread as read. Keep in mind that again, you have multiple threads. This is one thread, this is one, a different thread. So if I mark the posts as read in this post, it's not going to affect this thread. If I choose mark all posts as unread, as you'll see, it marks those all as unread. And then again, if I mark them all as posts as read, it doesn't affect the other um, thread. A flag thread, this could be done. If you do that, you get a little flag, and this helps on filtering. It's in case you want to come back to that particular thread. Maybe you want to look at it more closely or answer a student's question about that. And again, you just remove the flag by clicking on it. Pin thread. What a pin thread does is it allows you to make sure that a thread is the first one seen by students. This is useful if you want to make sure that a thread you create does not get lost among the ones that students create. So when I pin a thread, and I'll choose this one, if I pin a thread here, this has a little pin on it, so when a student comes into this thread, and I'll show you from the student's perspective, so when the student comes into this thread, you'll see that this is the first one up there, even though it, things may have not been posted uh, lately. So that's what a pin thread looks like. Go back to submission review and discussions. And again, to turn off that pin, you simply click on the and you say remove pin. The view post history allows you to see if a student has edited their post. So if I click here, view post history, this lets me see that this is what the student posted and when. And if there's any changes to it, you would see those changes. Copy thread, exactly what it means, allows you to copy a thread. Maybe you're creating a thread and you want to make, make another thread that's similar and just make a few edits, you can do that. Print thread is a very nice feature, is that it will automatically compile all of the uh, replies and posts, all of the, the, let me do that again. I'll show you here, because this one I think is better. Uh, but it would, it would show, compile all the posts and replies, and you can simply print that on a single page. And then finally, uh, delete thread. Be careful with that. Uh, this will delete the entire thread, including any replies, and there's no way to restore deleting the thread, so please be careful with this feature.